What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG in the last part we got the six star piece and in this part we're actually gonna do a quick side quest or a quick side mission we're gonna go to uh I can fucking find on the map okay we're gonna go to Mulville this is also the reason I decided to sell my coca-colas but um we're going to Mulville remember this guy from earlier Good to see you again. Show me a turn. I'm going to do a mystery. Yeah, show anyone tells me 200 coins. Yes. All right, number three, a feather. Feather in the sky. Anyone 250 coins? Yes. And four, a metal plate. 300 coins. Any more coins? All right, I got, I got to sell shit. I don't need the royal syrup. I don't need the max mushroom. That's 247. I don't need the Lucky Jewel anymore, so it should, um... So yeah, now let's get this, uh, the metal plate, 300 coins, and, uh, yes. And this is the frying pan, which is by far Peach's best weapon she can get in the game. It's, it goes from 166 attack to 196 attack. So, yeah, it's by far Peach's best weapon equipment uh, weapon in the game so i recommend getting this for because we have to go back to nimbus land and uh and uh i guess mallow's parents said that uh we kind of have to go back to them to figure out where to go next so what we're gonna do now is go see mallow's parents We'll pay them a visit and maybe i can cut this i don't know but uh it, the gist of it is oh there they are there's what i was thinking of earlier the statues of mario peach mario that's where they are what i was thinking of was in the super nintendo version anyway so mom dad were you able to find the star deer? Yes, the axe may return away from us, but we got it back again. That's wonderful. Now the star uh, starway can be repaired, right? I guess not. You're still missing a piece, I take it. The last star. Right, the only left place left to look is in Bowser's Keep. Yeah, we know, but there's no way to get in. Believe me, we've tried, but yes, even Mario can't jump that far. Alright, I'll use the That's it, dear. You should use the Royal Bus. Yes, Mal, the time has come for you to take the bus. Why, when I was your age? Really, are you sure it's all right? Of course, dear. A loan of a parent have it fixed by the time you leave. So let me help Mario and the others get that last star. You bet, Mom. Come on, Mario, let's go. So, yeah. The last star is in Bowser's Keep, the area we've been struggling to get into for the whole game. So... Let's just say, to be honest, we're approaching the end of the normal game because all we have left to do is get one more star piece. So, the gist of it is uh, we have to go to Bowser's Escape. The one area I looked in. Now, one thing I also suggest, by the way, and this is just my uh, personal preference. Backtracking is going to be a pain in the ass when you get to Bowser's Keep for a while. So anything you want to get, like the war like the frying pan for Peach, or like the Jinx spell for Gino, or like anything like the Super Suit the Attack Scarf, get all this stuff before you go to Bowser's Keep because let's just say there'll be a bit of backtracking. So yeah, just be a little aware on that. But uh, we're gonna go to Bowser's Keep. The bus is five minutes before we can start operating again. Prince Mallow, we want to go to Bowser's Keep. Can you give us a lift, please? I've heard the story from King Nimbus. She'll be there in no time. Here it comes. Here it comes. So how's the engine running? Oh, it's pure and like a kitten. Take Prince Mallow to the entrance of Bowser's Keep. Of course, can't wait to get this thing running again. Come on, Prince, hop on board. A 
all aboard. We're off. And look, now we're in Bowser's Cape. Ah, the scent of boiling lava. It's so nice to be home. Come on, say that I'm paying for my funny cows for me. So, um, I'm gonna swap out from Gino to Bowser, to be honest. And we're also gonna. We're also gonna give Bowser the Jinx belt. So, um. I think I'll let Bowser out for a while because it's his part of the game. Though, um, I also want to show some of you Bowser. By the way, new enemies, um, they're like the very first enemies we saw in the game, only stronger, but, um, yeah, with Bowser, believe it or not, can, uh, scare the monsters and they run away. Bail the, uh, fire. The frying pan. The frying pan is by far Peach's best weapon. And oh yeah, so uh, yeah. I guess I don't even need to cut that, but uh, yeah, you can get a lot, and I mean a lot of XP in this area. More new enemies. This is, um. These are the pro Goombas. They're like the Goombas from earlier, only stronger. So, um. Maybe this game might not be the most original in terms of enemies, but I still like it. It's still, I've said this before. It's a very early Nintendo. Very. It's a Super Nintendo game from 1996. So you have to cut it some slack on those grounds, but, uh. We should be also a level up, but, um, oh, new enemy. These are the, uh, these are the Malakupas. Um, they're like the, uh, paratroopers only stronger. Pretty much any, pre I guess you could say any, any enemy that's like a different, um, enemy that's a different color. You can basically say is like the same except stronger, but, um, there we go. It's time the frying pan. 32 XP, and Gino's actually almost a level up. We're approaching, we're in the ninth inning in terms of uh, finishing this game, but um, I think there's also a new enemy we haven't seen, quite seen yet. Yeah, these are the Grand Troopers. These are the, uh, they're like the ones we saw in Nimbus Castle. They're also weak to Super Jump. Four hundred twenty-five. Oh wait, they're now weak to super jump. That might. That is. I got that totally wrong. They're not weak to super jump, but um. There we go. And uh, but we get a level up here anyway. So um, you know, it's level twenty, and again, physical. Yeah, this room is gonna get pretty dark, but um. Alrighty, so. Anyway, so now that we got that battle of system, Mario's almost a level up, but um. And now we're out of this area, so uh. Now, uh, there's a save block and there's Croco. Hey, Mario, do you remember to use a save point? There's plenty of danger, so it's the best thing that you need anything in Rouse Magazine Cell, so um. Yeah, we don't really need any of these, and plus they're the same weapons we got earlier, so, um... Yeah, be very careful. If you want to save, I'd suggest save now, but there's gonna be a gist of what we're doing here. There are six doors. Need an explanation? Yes. Of the six doors... Two open action courses, you can handle a lot of action, right? Two others will lead you to battle courses, you can fight, right? The last two open on the puzzle courses, and that's why for a great puzzle solver like you, right? Once you choose a course, there's no turning back. The only way to find the door is to walk through it. You must press pass four of the six courses to move ahead. So, 
When I first played through this game, I spent actual hours trying to find out with these doors, but uh Okay, we got 10 tries, so this is platforming oriented, but uh We got fright bomb, but uh we got hit and lava in the process, but um We got Royal Syrup and uh We got an ice bomb We got rock candy we got nine chances left. If we reach zero, we fail. We have to do this over again, but, um... Shit. Was momentum at its finest, but, uh, we have eight chances left. I think I got all the items I wanted, though, to be 100% honest. You can get a ton of, like, Coca-Colas and Rock Candies and all that stuff because it's late in the game, but, um... Anyway, we're playing some Donkey Kong. Oh shit. <laughs> let's just uh, let's just rush this and uh you can also give up, but I don't know why I do that. Only in the remake though, yeah, in the Super Nintendo version you had to pretty much do it till either succeeded or failed. There we go. Bye bye Donkey Kong and uh now, you want to go through the specific doors that have weapons. Now, this actually has the Super Slap, which is a, one of the weapons we can get for Peach. Just get the Frying Pan to 100% on it. It's like, maybe I'll show the Super Slap, but, uh... I'm gonna get 10 tries. What, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna show... I can't really show all six doors, but, um... So, what the reward you'll get in these doors, like, uh, I'll basically show in a different, maybe in a bonus video, maybe in a, anyway, we got a Coca-Cola, maybe I'll show in a bonus video, maybe I'll show after this part, I don't know. I haven't really thought through yet, but, uh, be careful these bob ons but, uh, we got a flower and, uh, a pick-me-up, oh shit. Got nine chances left, thank god. Not as long as that blah blah moves too close. Get away from me. I wanna I wanna see what's in these item boxes though. We got a uh, max mushroom. A rock candy. I struck I anything any rock candies you can get at this point in the game, I just strongly recommend you get them now to be honest. Right, there we go. I don't think we need any rock candies here, though, but, um, we can see what's in that thing. Oh, shit. We got a flower. At least we can fuck up seven more times, though. Well, I guess that's six more times. Well, I got a Rosa. I don't think it's worth risking it. I'll just make it to the end. I don't think it's worth risking these items. Plus, we got like, we've already gotten like two rock candies. So, how many rock candies we got? Um, we have to check our items. Yeah, we have two rock candies. So, plus we'll get more. So. There we go. I almost thought I was gonna make that jump, but uh, we actually get these Sonic symbols, which is the strongest weapon Mallow can equip in the normal game. So we're gonna give him the Sonic symbols and goes his offense up to 154. So um, anyway, this is a battle room, and um, these are pro Goombas, so. Maybe some of these I'll just cut out of the video, to be honest, but, uh, let's, uh... Let's, uh... Actually, let's show this.
I wanted to take them all out, but uh, that's one of Bowser's specials. Special moves aren't really one of Bowser's specialties, though. And these are the, uh, what are the, what are the actual names of these again? These are the Malakoop, Malakoopas. And that's taking care of it. I think we should actually get a level up, to be honest. Nope, not too quite. I'm actually gonna switch to Bowser to Geno because, uh, now so, uh, Bowser the, uh, give, uh, Bowser the Zoom Shoes, give Geno the Jinx Belt. And that should be pretty good. Anyway, so these are the boos, which, uh, believe it or not, are actually new enemies at this point in the game, but, um, now we get a level up. Again, physical. Uh, I might just, uh, maybe I'll start cutting these battles, I don't know, but, uh, we only have two more doors left to go into. We get a lucky, yay! But I failed the frying pan time because I'm not really used to it. I love a full party that's resistant to all this shit. Double our XP. Let's get 10 XP instead of 5. Hold on. Alright, it's right. I have to double coins though, but um... Actually, I'm gonna swap out my gear a bit. Um... Bowser, um... Ooh. I should have bought a fire shell, but um... Keep it what it is for now, but uh... I was gonna give uh, Gino the safety ring, but uh, we'll do that later. All right, so let's take out the Bezos. I think these are the ones that hang out luckies. Or maybe not. Or they'll just run away. Now there's gonna be three of these rooms, I think. There we go, and, uh, we max, and, uh, let's just, uh, sorry if I don't have exciting content, we're just trying to get out of this, these battles, so we can get through a different door. Also, I should point out, also, the, uh, doors you go through change, like, the, what door they are, they are, they ran, they're randomized every time you play this, so, like, what, the doors that can show up for me are different than what can show up for you. Bowser got actually almost will level up. Oh, new enemy! These are the Glum Reachers, which are like the Greepers, only stronger, but um. We gotta attack up. Uh, we should get a lucky also. Maybe not. Um, yeah, Bowser and Mallow are almost the level ups, but um. All right, one more run. All right, once again, there we go. I like when I get the once again tool because I can just do stuff like this, at least in the remake at least. Yeah, I get the once again right about the fight. So, um, level up time. It's, um, I was level 20 and again, magic. Bowser level 20, let's go attack. I 
I don't think we, we might not have fought a Lakitu before. I'll count this as a new enemy. And Paige is also almost full level up, but um, yeah, just a few more enemies. So, um... For magicians, can I at least get a, uh, one more turn? Can I at least get a lucky jewel out of this? No lucky jewel. Give me some lucky jewels. There we go! Oh, we're so getting a level up out of this, and... We're so getting a level up out of this. There we go. And Peach is uh, leveled up. Peach is level 21, and uh, let's do HP, and uh, yeah, there we go. Peach has two hearts. Peach is, I think, definitely going to be our HP tank for the rest of the game, because I also plan to swap the Lazy Shell Armor from Gino to Peach. Anyway, so, we got the Drill Claw, which is, um... The strongest weapon Bowser can equip in the normal game, so we finally get some for Bowser in door number four. It's all battles, so um, I guess I'll show door five and six at a later point, but um, believe it or not, the first four doors in order were the exact doors I wanted. Anyway, so these are spike enemies, and uh, it's just uh, the star cruster looks like crabs. Oh, yeah. But this is the last of the door, thankfully, we have to go, although this is gonna be a pretty long part, let's just say, but um. Oh, these are enemies, big blasters. Okay, so, uh, there we go. He was actually almost a level up. We're gonna see lots and lots of level ups, let's just say. So, uh, we're really in the long hauls. So we're gonna see lots of level ups and long hauls going toward the end of the game. We might even be like level 25 towards the end. That's, that's room one, so we just need two more rooms and we're done with the uh, door area. Alright, there we go. Once again, I like this. Because I can just, uh... Kill these two. Uh, I didn't take over leftover damage, but, um... Oh, yeah! I mean, it's the frying pan timing, thankfully. You guys almost will level up. I like that. And bloopers. There we go. I got a lucky jewel, but they're... Oh, they didn't run. There we go. We took them both out anyway. Let's double our XP. Come on, double our XP. Let's double our XP. Let's double our XP. Yes. Get Gino a level up. There we go. And Gino leveled up. Gino is now level 21. And again, physical. Yeah, we're approaching the end. And, uh,. Mario's pretty close to a level up, too. I 
I will tackle the post game, just an FYI. Like, uh, like uh, I said this in a community post as I'm recording this, but uh, I am gonna tackle the post game. But um, it's only a matter of when I'm gonna tackle it. To be 100% honest. There we go. XP for this part of the game, though. Uh, that's the second. We're almost having the second run down. This is gonna be a half hour long video, but uh, I thought I'd tell the stupid dwarves with the chain con. Wasn't enough to take these ones down. <laughs> he killed his partner. There we go. One last run. And this killed the big blaster. I'm probably should cut out these fights, but I don't know. They don't take very long either way. Hey! How come you haven't died yet? Let's go get die. Mario's actually almost all level up, so uh, I'm gonna be great if he levels up. And dry bones. I guess we can show off a new move. Hold on a second. Yeah, let's show off a new move. We haven't shown off another yet. We're gonna try Psych Bomb. The attacks all enemies. We have not shown that yet, unfortunately, but uh. I use it very much because I usually use the lazy shell armor on Peach, but uh, we're actually gonna put that back on her, so yeah, it's not a move I use too often. Oh, yeah, lucky that's not definitely an XP. I think the double coins though. Yeah, Mario's are Marty's supposed to level up. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen for us. Level up, or we get the uh, last of the doors. Now. Actually, uh, now I know. Yes, uh, let's just super jump this thing and be on our way. One shot. And we leveled up also. Mario reached level 22 again physical. And that is it for the doors. So, um, got the star gun, which is the best weapon Gino can equip, and we're gonna so give him that right now. So, uh, yeah, and, uh, I guess that's it for Super Mario RPG. So, um, time on Super Mario RPG. We're gonna see what's beyond this door. See you guys then.